dear students our next topic is linear effects in optical fibers these are attenuation absorption linear scattering and bending losses in this video we have to discuss about the attenuation and absorption so what is attenuation simply attenuation means power loss in a fiber cable is probably the most important characteristic of of the cable that is the power loss is often called as attenuation that is when we transmit a signal from one place to another the power loss is occurred that is simply termed as attenuation attenuation is a measure of decay of signal strength or loss of light power that occurs a light pulses that propagate through the length of the fiber that is the loss of light power that occurs is called attenuation attenuation has several adverse effects that is it affect the system bandwidth information transmission rate the efficiency and overall system capacity in this theory the loss of signal strength while traveling through the optical fiber from the transmitting end to the receiving end that is i already told it is attenuation as the distance traveled by an optical signal along the fiber increases reduction in signal also increases that is already know the the length of the optical fiber is increases continuously the loss is also increases therefore attenuation is expressed in decibel per kilometer decibel per kilometer is db per kilometer uh, this is a simple figure showing the attenuation the, according to this figure you have just see this uh, the shape of the pulse at the shape of the pulse at the source end then at the receiving end the source the receiving end the pulse is just downwards that is that is the attenuation in a optical fiber that is the two power levels are compared with the u decibel if ps is a input source optical power launched into the optical power and p0 is the po is the received output from the fiber then then is equation that is a into db that is a db equal to 10 log 10 log p out by p out by p in this is the equation for attenuation that is a into db equal to 10 log p out by p in so in optical communication attenuation is usually expressed in decibels per unit length therefore where is the signal at signal attenuation per unit length db and l is the fiber that is p0 equal to a into db equal to 10 log p out by p in in this equation a is the total reduction in, in power level p out is the cable output power and p in is the cable input power that is the uh, that is all about the attenuation and you have to study uh, one or two problems in the attenuation also uh, then is the absorption we have already known that is absorption in in any cases absorption means the material is absorbed by some substance that is absorption loss is related to material composition and fabrication process of fiber that is in in the fabrication process of a fiber the fabrication process of fiber is important and we will study later and the material composition that is i already told you about the material composition that is plastic fiber and glass fiber absorption is caused by three different mechanism uh, in this theory the main cause of absorption is the presence of impurities such as metal particles or moisture in the fiber at the fabrication side there is some metal particles or due to the temperature outside there is a moisture present content in the fiber due to these impurities light of a particular wavelength is absorbed and dissipated as heat dissipate means it is light is dissipated as the energy is dissipated as heat that is due to these impurities light of a particular wavelength is absorbed and it dissipated in the form of a heat uh, the absorption of optical fiber is influenced by the following factors atomic structure of fiber material and impurities in the 
fiber material that is atomic structure mainly silicon structure then the impurities present at the time of fabrication then defects in atomic structure such as missing molecules or oxygen defects causes absorption that is these all types are mainly in at the time of fabrication that is some molecules are missing or some molecules are mixing or oxygen defect in case of when temperature is increases gradually that is causes absorption another cause is the diffusion of hydrogen molecule into the glass that is at the time of uh, fabrication some uh, hydrogen molecules are diffused into the glass that is all about the absorption then a graph showing the fiber losses during the absorption that is in the left side in the y axis the attenuation in db per kilometer and the x axis it is in wavelength in nanometer and the various type of attenuation at the various wavelength is as the shown that is this graph is explained in the below theory attenuation absorption is two types that is intrinsic absorption and extrinsic absorption in case of an intrinsic absorption the silica fiber is a preferred channel for most communication applications because of its low absorption property in the required wavelength from 700 to 1600 nanometer that is this intrinsic absorption occurs when material is in absolutely pure state that is no density variation impurities and material in homogenetics so this case silica fiber is you already know the silica fiber is a preferred channel for most communication application because of low absorption property that is silica fiber has very low absorption and is a purest material and its required wavelength range from 700 to 1600 nanometer that means in in case of a silica fiber the required wavelength that we use that we transmit is e to 700 to 1600 nanometer and pure silica has low absorption due to its basic material structure that is the pure silica has absorption is very less attenuation in this wavelength range for pure silica is shown in the figure 1.25 the low attenuation range is between the ultraviolet and IR region. That is, here in the figure, just you just note the figure in the that is in the this region. That is this region. The, abs the absorption is very less. That is in this region. The absorption is very less. That is the uh, IR region. That is explained in this theory part. That is. The attenuation in this wavelength range from pure silica is shown in the figure 1.25. The low attenuation range is between the U ultraviolet and UV and the IR region. Intrinsic absorption in this region is due to stimulation of electron transitions within the glass by higher energy excitation. That is, oh, this ultra the this absorption in this region is due to the stimulation of electron transitions. Though the question arises how the electron transition occurs in this region. That is. The light is transmitted, it is hit to the core region that is total internal reflection and some of the electrons are trans, trans, transited. That is the main cause of absorption. The tail of the ultraviolet absorption band is shown in the figure 1.25. It may extend into the short wavelength region and also to the IR and far infrared region. That is the ultraviolet absorption tail. You just note down the figure here the uv ultraviolet absorption tail that is is to extend up to the ir region this is the explanation of this figure that is in case of an ultraviolet and ir the absorption is very less also intrinsic absorption is mainly caused by the interaction of photons with the molecular vibrations within the glass that i already told you intrinsic absorption is caused by the photons photons means light the light is interacted with the molecules in the glass that is silica the vibration of SiO, 60 and PO give rise to absorption that is all about the intrinsic absorption next is the extrinsic absorption extrinsic absorption is caused by metallic impurities such as iron nickel and chromium introduced into the fiber material during fabrication that is the extrinsic means uh, the extra material that is in case of an uh, 
it is already it is due to the uh, fabrication part metallic impurities are present during the fabrication of fiber that is the presence of iron nickel and chromium induced into the fiber then another major cause is absorption due to water dissolved in glass that is these all are due to during the fabrication process another cause is due to the absorption of water dissolved in glass water and silica glass form silicon hydroxide the in the silica glass combined with the water to form silicon hydroxide SiOH bonds which are bounded into the glass structure and have stretching vibrations between 2700 and 4200 nanometer that means this SiOH forms bonded in the glass structure and when light is passed through it it make you stretch vibrations in the glass when light is passed this occurs when the light is passed at the nanometer of 2700 and 4200 nanometer of wavelength however the harmonics or overtones of the fundamental absorption occurs at uh, 1.38 1.25 and 0.95 micrometer that is that is the radius of the core that is the figure 1.25 shows the presence of the three OH harmonics the level of OH harmonic absorption is also indicated that is in the figure that is the OH absorption peak in the case of extrinsic absorption you just note down the three figures OH absorption peak that is the, the, the absorption is very higher the attenuation is very higher in this OH region that is all about the absorption and attenuation